Hi. In this tutorial, we are going to make a jump pad. First, let's start with the smoke particle of the jump pad. Create a particle system by right-clicking. Set the material and required as smoke sub-UV material provided by start content. Next, set linear blend in sub-UV and make the sub-image width and height to 8 respectively. It means frames of UV animation. Change ray to 0 in spawn and add array in burst. And set the count of the array to about 20 so that the particles come out as much as the count value at a time. Next, set max and min values in lifetime and initial size. Change the Z value in initial velocity so that reduces the rate at which smoke spreads upwards. In color over life, set the distribution to vector constant and change the smoke color to white. Create a sub-image index and set the values of the array like the video so that UV animation appears on the particles. Next, create initial rotation and initial rotation rate to set rotation rate. Finally, return to the required and set the emitter loop to 1 so that the emitter runs only once. After saving, go back to the content browser. Now, let's make a blueprint. Add box collision, static mesh, and particle system in the component tab. Apply the particle we just created to the particle system and uncheck auto activate not to be run automatically. Next, Set a mesh in the static mesh component for scaffolding. In this case, we use the asset platform model provided by start content. Adjust the size and position of the mesh in the transform. Now, go to the event graph. Right-click on the box collision to create a begin overlap event that occurs when a character is in collision space. Next, create a get player character node to get the property of the player character, then create a launch character node and connect them to each other. Next, create a get actor forward vector node. After that, make two float variables. Change the names of each variable to distance and jump height and set the values of both variables to 1000. When you click the eye icon next to the variables, you can set their values outside the blueprint. Drag both variables to the event graph as a form of get. Multiply the get actor forward vector node and the distance node with each other using a vector multiplication node. Create a make vector node and set the height of jump by connecting the jump height node to the Z value of the make vector node. Now, add the height and distance of the jump using the vector addition node, and connect the vector addition node to the launch character node to let the character bounce as the values set in the variables. Check on the checkbox in the launch character node like the video so that it is not affected by the movement of the character in each direction. Next, create an activate node where the particle system was set, and connect it to the launch character node so that particles appear when the character is bounced. Now, place the blueprint on the level. When the character steps on the jump pad, he will be bounced forward.